All right, we recently ran out of stock of our unstructured five panel hats. I've got some patches here and I'm gonna sew a few of them up on here with you. These hats are just a classic snapback by Yupong. I'll put a link down in the description where we get them. And these patches are custom made by a company called The Studio and I'll put a link down in the bottom for those as well. But I order them with an adhesive backing so that you can peel that off and stick it on the front of the hat. I just eyeball it. And that makes sewing a whole lot easier because then it just stays in place. I'm gonna put these all on and then we'll move over to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm using one of our industrial leather machines. This is a Texo 2750 Pro. It's a good like medium weight machine. It's a Juki 341 clone and it's not so big like the harness stitchers that it would just munch up the fabric on these hats. But the real benefit of this machine is this cylinder arm right here. If you've ever tried to sew a patch on a hat with a flat bed, it's a real pain and it's really hard not to uh, ruin the panels of the hat by smashing it down. So with the cylinder arm, you can get underneath that needle and uh, you know work your way around this cylinder head without messing up the hat. I've got the machine threaded with black size 92 bonded nylon thread, which is usually a little bit too big for fabric type stuff. It's the same size we use for leather wallets and things like that, but it looks pretty good on these patches. So we're gonna run with it. Okay, it could be hard to remember this, but you gotta make sure to take the cardboard mold out of the front. And then this flap right here, you gotta fold all the way back and get it completely out of the way so you don't accidentally sew it into the patch. It's really hard not to snag the fabric on the needle when you're getting it under here. I'm gonna drop the needle right at the bottom of the patch. As always, you gotta keep a little bit of tension on the thread as you're getting started. Just till you get like two stitches in and then you can let go. Throw that form back in. And we got it. 